Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the group stage is here today inside of FIFA 22. I wanna take a look at this loading screen, the cards that EA are hinting uh, at us getting today, how we're gonna receive those cards, what the market's gonna do today, the SBC's objectives that we might have, and what could happen today in this game with a big team of the group stage promo following up a huge last week of Black Friday, right? There's been a lot of hype with build up to team of the group stage as well, because this has been a very popular promo in the past few years. There's some big names that have been leaked to be in the promo squad today. Of course, we're going to take a look at those again, a couple new additions uh, to what we expect to see. Uh, but first of all, that loading screen. Let's talk about that for a quick second, right? Gives us an idea of what cards might be coming out today. Uh, and it kind of allows us to look at the leaks as well and compare that middle card and the right card. Out of those three, the middle and the one on the right, we are like almost certain that that is Lewandowski and Cancelo, right? Put in this graphic here. I'm going to put a link to this graphic down below in the description. We're not sure about the one on the left though, because Dybala fits the upgrade for the stats that are on that card, but Dybala isn't a part of the uh, quote unquote leaks that we have seen so far for this promo. So again, if you did not see the leaks, right? These are the cards that we are expecting to get during team of the group stage, right? This is the long list. I think there's a couple more that have been added to this as well. These are the players that we're expecting to see in this promo. Ronaldo, Lewandowski, Salah, Marquinhos, Cancelo, Vinicius Jr., Bruno Fernandes. I mean, this list is some insane insane players and also based off of the screen here i believe that if cancelo is getting 87 passing which is uh the stat that is on the loading screen i believe cancelo's inform which is 87 rated has 84 passing uh so it, it we don't know what kind of upgrades are going to do today if it's going to be like a plus one on cancelo to get him plus two passing right because when a card gets a plus one boost a couple of the face stats also get plus two or if he's getting a plus two boost today, overall 89, and they just give him a plus two passing and he'll plus three in some other areas. We really don't know what this Cancelo uh, is going to look like if that's telling us it's going to be a double boost or a single boost. But in the years past, for most of the, these cards, it's just been a plus one, right? A plus one on a Lewandowski, they could give him plus two pace. I'm really curious to see if EA is doing big boost today, like they did last week for signature signings. They went all out with the boost that they gave cards. So I'm very curious to see if all of these cards are in packs today. That's, there's also potential that this team might be split up into like a team one and a team two. They've been doing that a lot in this year of FIFA 22. They might do it again. So I don't know if you'll see all of these cards in packs today, right? That is something to kind of consider. Uh, but you know, there's going to be big names released and it's going to create some hype. And we're going to talk about how it could affect the market because there could be huge market movements today as there have been in years past uh, on team of the group stage. Now, these are the leaked players, but we are going to see some actual legit confirmed players tweeted out by the champions league Twitter account. So get your notifications set one hour before content today on Friday, the champions league Twitter account is going to tweet out. I would imagine three. Usually they've done this with Road to the Knockout. They did this twice and they tweeted out three cards for an exclusive early reveal, uh, if you will, for these Champions League team of the group stage items. So be watching out for that today on this game. Now, how many cards can we expect in packs? Well, in the previous years when they've released the team of the group stage promo, it's been more than just a normal set of 11, right? And that's how they've been doing it this year, though, is they've been releasing like 11 cards in packs and then they do a mini release on Saturday or Sunday. I'm really curious to see now that they've added these card filters into the transfer market search as well. I'm really curious to see if they go above that 11 man squad for a promo team today. If they do a mini release or not, we'll probably get some more information on that today when EA tweets out and all that sort of stuff. But people are really excited for the cards today, right? Of course, a lot of the leaks that we have are just Champions League cards. We don't know a lot about Europa League uh, or even the Conference League, but I almost, I mean, they're going to be included. There's, there has to be cards from the Conference League and from the Europa League today because they included those two competitions in the Road to the Knockouts promo um, a couple weeks ago. So about a month ago, uh, I would expect to see all of the different competitions involved today, whether it's in promo cards, whether it's in SBCs or objectives. Now, speaking of SBCs or objectives, let's talk about some predictions I have for that sort of content. Last week on Friday, the game was turned upside down by one SBC man as a part of Black Friday. One SBC, this Kareem Benzema card, literally turned the game upside down, right? 
almost everybody has done this card. He's like the most popular card on, on Footbin, most upvotes. It's crazy how many people have done this. Benzema flashback, I don't really expect, especially with the leaks that we have seen, it doesn't seem like there's going to be a big player SBC today. I really doubt they would go two weeks in a row with a huge player SBC on a Friday. It looks like EA is really trying to focus on the cards that are in packs today with all the big names that they're trying to throw out there. Now, there are a couple names that are being thrown around for a team of the group stage objective and SBC. Now, the SBC is rumored to be Sebastian Holler, of course, most goals scored so far uh, in the group stages. And then the objective is Victor Osaman from Napoli. So I'm curious to see if those are the cards that are dropped today. If an SBC like Holler is dropped, that's really going to mean that most people are not going to be worried about, you know, going and doing an SBC today like they were last week. Most people are going to be worried about the new cards that are dropping on the game, what their price are, how they can buy them, how they can try them out uh, and stuff like that. So that is one thing I will say today is that it doesn't look like unless they drop some other sort of SBC, um, it doesn't look like there's going to be a huge player SBC today unless they were to drop two of them. So a little bit of, you know, unexpected as always, we don't know what EA is going to do. But uh, a Sebastian Holler SBC doesn't really get everybody hyped, in my opinion, today on this game. So how is the market going to be today, right? I mean, we talked about content probably, of course, it, whether it's Holler and uh, Osaman or not, I would expect an SBC player. I would expect an objective player. Last year, we had Lucas and we had Kingsley Coman. Uh, but the, the reason why this game could be impacted a lot today is because the cards are going to be dropping into packs are such big name players. And in years past, team of the group stages have been very packable. They've been very easy to pack. They've had a high pack weight, which makes them very cheap, right? And in previous years, the market was so much higher. And, you know, cards like we keep using this example, Kevin De Bruyne was like 200K last year at this time. This year, he's 50,000 coins and he's an SBC card, right? Cristiano Ronaldo last year was like one and a half million coins. This year, he's 600,000 coins, right? So the market is so much cheaper this year. I'm curious to see if that, is this a continual trend? Are the team of the tournament cards, team of the group stages today? I think a lot of how this market reacts today on this game uh, is the pack weight. It depends on the pack weight. Uh, as we go in here and you click the right stick down, you can see the pack weight in here. I'm really curious to see when we get the 50K packs today. I think we're going to get lightning rounds. If I haven't said that already, after EA do lightning rounds for Black Friday, they always continue it with basically every single promo after that. So I would expect 50K lightning rounds today, 100K lightning rounds, 125s, right? Preview packs, no idea. We haven't had preview packs in like a month. So are we due for one? Maybe. I just don't know what EA's plans are. If they want to crash the market, like the market has dropped the last two years in early December, this could be a time to drop preview packs. That would that would really hurt the market today. So I definitely don't like want to say expect preview packs. Uh, that's always a variable now in this game. We don't know when they're going to drop those. Uh, but I guess it's just as normal of a, of a potential as always. I feel like people are expecting them less now in Team of the Group stage as they were last week in Black Friday. So be on the lookout for that. But there's a lot of saved packs as well. So when these cards drop into the game today, depending on how high their pack weight technically is, we're going to be taking a look at the percentages right away when these cards get dropped in the game. Of course, we're going to be in the store looking at those when we're live streaming on Twitch, by the way. Make sure you come through. It's going to be a blast. We'll make coins. Look at these new cards and the content and maybe even try to play some weekend league as well. Uh, you know, we're going to definitely look at that pack supply, but there's going to be a lot of those packs. A lot of people like myself have saved packs, right? And when you have this break between promos, right? We've had uh, since Tuesday, there have been no special cards and packs besides the team of the week. So most people like myself have just saved up their packs. And a lot of people, when they load into the game today, they're going to be ripping these packs right away. 6 p.m., new cards come out. They're going to be opening packs, 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 right? That's going to mean a lot of supply early on. It's going to be interesting to see if these pack, uh, if these cards have a low pack weight or a high pack weight. So if they have a very high pack weight, that might drop the market, right? We talked about that in yesterday's video. A high pack weight today especially on the promo cards, is going to mean that they're going to come on the market very cheap. And when these new cards come on the market very cheap, people sell cards that they already have to go and try new items in this game, right? We just went through Black Friday. And as I pointed out in yesterday's video, all the pack supply that came out during that time has put a ton of coins on this market. This market is very rich at the moment, but also there's a lot more supply on this market that's being held up 
by those increased amount of coins, right? Imagine how many Cristiano Ronaldo's were packed last week on Black Friday, but his price literally has not gone, it's not gone up or down, right? His price has stayed stagnant. I think this is one of those cards, even though if he gets a promo item today, that in the next couple days might be, uh, if EA makes the pack weight very high today, I could see a lot of the gold cards on this market dropping off because they're gonna have so much supply and people want to go out and try the brand new cards that get released on this game, right? I do think that you're going to see a bit of panic selling heading into today on Friday as well. You've already started to see it, right? On some of these players that are expected to get brand new team of the group stages, like Vinicius Jr., his 85 rated inform, he was 400,000 coins uh, on Tuesday before the leak started coming out. And now he's down to 339k. His first inform is 217. The Vinicius Jr. we're supposed to be getting today has 99 pace. So that's going to be crazy. That's going to make his card probably more expensive. But it, you know, again, it, it comes, it all comes down to the pack weight today for me. It really does. If they drop preview packs and the pack weight is going to decide if the market drops a lot today, if these, if these brand new players are going to take over in terms of hype on this game, or um, if it's just going to be another time of like panic selling into 6 p.m. and then a rebound after that. So I do think there will be a lot of cards that get panic sold into 6 p.m. UK today and then rebound higher after. The ones that I would keep a watch out for, like, you know, players that are expected to be in. Again, like we talked about, the Marquinhos. He's got a road to the knockouts card and an inform. Both of those I would expect to see dropping today. The Vinicius Junior card, the Trent Rule Breakers, um, and Kunku as an inform, of course. Um, you know, Ronaldo has a once to watch card. We still, it's very unclear if Ronaldo wants to watch is actually going to get updated or not. I really don't think that it is if he gets a promo card today. But Ronaldo OTW is up right now because he scored two goals yesterday in their game against Arsenal, which they won. So people are saying team of the week shouts, of course. So his once to watch is up. But I, I just feel like a lot of stuff on this market right now is, is very high, very inflated. You know, De Bruyne, 900, Ben Yedder, a mil. Renato is 900K. Uh, I, just, I just feel like a lot of stuff is up, and I feel like there's more of a chance that some stuff goes down than it goes even higher after the content today. That's just my opinion. Since they're dropping some insane cards today, uh, any variation of all or some of these cards impacts today on Friday, I just feel like there's, there's a higher chance of stuff going down uh, later on this weekend than there is uh, going up. So there's a lot of people that are preparing already. I bought a Holland tonight at 500K because again, he's actually a 25K undercut right there. This Holland yesterday was like 540,000 coins pretty consistently. So I snagged one at 500,000 because it's a very rare card. And I think as you can see here, somebody just undercut it by 25,000 coins because I bought this at 500 flat. And how many cards do we have to like 540K, right? Where his normal price is. People are probably panic selling this because of Lewandowski. Is that still sitting there at 500? I mean, I'm literally going to buy this again, man, because the next cheapest is 520 and 530. I, I really think that this is going to reach 540K this morning. It's such a rare card. I know Lewandowski is coming out today, but I'm going to go for it, man. That's a solid flip right there. I'm going to make like 15,000 coins or so after tax. Uh, on that, if that sells at 540, because again, we only have five cards here, people are going to wake up today on Friday and play Weekend League as well. So definitely keep a watch out for fluctuations on the market. Icons are going to be a great place to look today because again, people still have coins. People are going to be getting more coins today from opening lightning round packs, and that's going to create demand for some of these higher tier players in the game as well. So keep an eye on icons. Those will be a great place to trade and watch the market today. Um, alongside the new promo cards. The new promo cards, there's definitely going to be a lot of people trading with those. There might be a lot of supply early on, which could create a really low dip. And then after people opening their packs, they might go out and uh, and buy some of those players. So seriously, keep an eye on the whole market today. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how things go. Um, but you know, it's, it's a promo Friday, right? And there's always so many variables built into a promo Friday that we don't know what's going to exactly happen, right? Whatever content that EA drops, is it going to be insane? Is it just going to be mostly cards and packs? Is it going to be like, um, you know, could they drop like an icon SBC today, like a player or a, you know, an icon upgrade? I mean, there's all that potential as well. So I really think it comes down to the store though, for today, the pack weight and, um, just how juiced these cards are. If they, dip, if they do give them some pretty big upgrades and if there's so many promo cards and packs that it makes everybody just want to go out and try these brand new items, 
that's really going to be what changes the game today for me, in my opinion. So definitely keep an eye out for the early, that first like 20, 30 minutes, there's going to be a lot of price swings in there. Cards that might go low, people start buying them, they go up in price for some very quick flips for some risky stuff. But for the rest of the gold market, let's talk about this as well. Gold cards that are going to be impacted like Hakimi or Varan. A lot of you guys are like, yo man, I sold my cards expecting a little bit of supply and a market drop today. Am I going to see some prices drop? I mean, if there's 50K and 100K lighting rounds again, absolutely, you're going to see some of these cards drop in price, right? Hakimi right now is up. He's like 62K, 60K undercut right there. Uh, that is up. I think Salah is even up a decent amount. He's supposed to be in the promo today, so his gold card might go out of packs. But like Gold Mane was 70K on Black Friday, and Gold Mane right now, according to Footbin, is how much? Let's just check right here. We're in the game anyway. Is he like almost 90,000 coins, like a lot of these golds are up in price. So I would imagine that with the lightning rounds today, a lot of your golds get supplied. Yeah, is Monty 90K? Yeah, mine is 90,000 coins, 88,000 coins. So a lot of this stuff ha has risen for sure. It's gonna get supplied though again today, right? There's so much pack supply on this market this year. So I would, I would expect some of that today as well. Let's take a look at SBC fodder just for one second, because since we had a lot of those SBCs expire yesterday, with Black Friday um, ending, a lot of the upgrade packs, you've seen fodder kind of actually get down a lot lower than what it was, right? Fodder was very inflated. Look at 84s. The index went from 245 all the way down here to 184. And if we look at the daily graph, um, I mean, we still probably want to see the index go to like 150s, 160s. So right now, 84s are how much? Like three and a half thousand coins? Yeah, they're like three and a half thousand coins. So 84s today might get back down like at 3,000 coins flat or below. I think that if you don't have any fodder in your club and you want to make a fodder investment with the supply that we could see today, early December and into the middle of this month is a huge SBC time, right? With the foot freeze promo, maybe foot miss, depending on which one they drop. And it's a big time for SBC. So SBC fodder, if you haven't bought any already, or if you want to buy more, could be a potential investment again today for a rise later on in the next couple of weeks um, for some of these gold cards as we see them drop down. But we know SBCs are incoming. So watch out for that because they're going to get supplied today, of course, with that lightning round and packs being open and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be a crazy promo Friday today. It's going to be good fun because Champions League cards, Champions League always brings out some good t content. And actually, I have to say this last second as well to end this video. We still don't have the UCL Commons. Are the UCL Commons not here anymore? Wow, the UCL Commons are not in the game. I just noticed that. So the UCL Commons and the UCL Rare cards, the blues, right? They are not here in the search filter. Let me go to my squad really fast because sometimes when you search from your club, it's a bit different. Let me just check. By the way, boys, rate the team, right? Yep, nice squad. A lot of untradables in here, full untradable squad. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a flex. Um, do I see any, cha I don't see any Champions League cards in here. Wow. I'm interested in why EA Sports removed those. I don't know if that means we're getting those today. You know, there was a small part of me that thought maybe they released Champions League cards today, but they're no longer showing up. Um, in the search filters on the market, which is, it's very interesting. So I don't know if those are going to be involved or if EA is just scrapping that idea for this year on this game, but it's going to be a crazy promo Friday. Team of the group stage is always really good for the cards that enter into the game. A lot of new fun cards to try out. I expect nothing less than that today on this game. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions about the market or today's promo, of course. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.